Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our lesson three. And in this lesson, we'll go through our LO3 learning outcome three. My name is Anjum Sattar and my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Please, those are listening this recording, if you have any questions, drop me email. So before starting our lesson, first of all, we recap what we learned during our last two lessons. So let's please we'll discuss. So lesson one, we discuss about understand the theories and principle of taxation system. We discuss about individuals, those are liable to pay tax. We discuss about resident, what is meant by, and if you have a domicile in the UK and uh, are your, your main residency in the UK, you're liable to pay the tax. Then we explain different tax system. We discuss direct tax. In direct tax, we discuss value added tax. So all we discuss, you know, tax system in the UK, HMRC is collecting the tax. Then we explain the tax planning, which is illegal. We discuss tax avoidance and tax avoidance. Tax avoidance is morally incorrect and the tax avoidance, of course, is illegal to do so, which we discuss in uh, our lesson one. We discuss about ethical issues, popular people chat in offices, and tax point of view. We discuss all you know the key things which we need to be self interest, self review. We discuss you know intimidation, and we discuss all different types of threads. Those can be leads to our professional code of ethics. Popular people chat in offices. We discuss about professional behavior, professional competency, do you care? Uh, confidentiality, integrity, and objectivity as a uh, account, and we have to maintain. In the second lesson, we discuss about calculate the taxable income from the employment. We discuss uh, the personal loan, twelve thousand five hundred under the Finance Act 2019, which we are dealing and we are doing. So we discuss we discuss about property income. We can say the non-saving income, and we can treat. We discuss about different benefit in kind like a company cars and the fuel and how we can make the treatment in account. We discuss class one and class two, NI contribution, employer contribution all in lesson two as well. And we explain how we can minimize the tax liabilities. Tax planning is illegal, tax surveillance is not. So we discuss in that lesson as well. Demonstrate relief. Uh, for pension, we discuss about if you giving the charity, how we can claim the relief. You're not paying or your taxable amount limit, which can be increased. Like, you know, we have a 37,500 37, is we have a 20% tax. First 12,500 is exempt. So we discuss those in lesson two. Today lesson will move to our LO3 learning outcome three. Explain difference between chargeable and exempt asset. What is meant by chargeable and exempt asset on the capital gain tax, which we'll go through. So explain the difference between the chargeable and exempt person and we'll discuss, you know, calculate gain from the payable and individual from the given data. So which we'll discuss and we'll calculate. So we have under the Learning outcome through inductive content, what we're supposed to be learned, chargeable gain, gain on the asset, uh, capital gain tax, you know, if your asset, you have capital asset like property, plant, equipment, and you have a gain, it is value went up, so we have to pay the capital gain tax, or when we are going to sell the asset, we have to pay the capital allowable asset, what asset we have, those are allow and uh, we don't need to be our exempt you know the chargeable gains and the allowable person chargeable gains you know what gains we can and allowable person what persons are liable uh, no need to be paid the capital gain tax like if you transfer property to spouse name so we need to discuss about connected person which will go through chattels is mean the antiques like uh, we have a race car are various other also come under the chattels as well. Chattels is um, our sceneries, our antiques, you know, that's all we cluster as a ch chattels. Uh, calculation of the chargeable gain and allowable loss is how we can loss forward and loss can be, and we can minimize the tax liability in terms of, you know, which we're supposed to pay if we have a loss in the previous year. 
calculation of capital gain tax how we can calculate the capital gain tax and which will go through personal allowance rates and the band all will be focused today lesson so let's will start okay so as i mentioned today lesson will go through lo3 so before starting you can rate yourself how much do you know about chargeable chargeable gain and capital gain and that's which we'll discuss you can rate 1 to 10 if you know and you're really confident and you learn this topic before maybe you're a 9 or 10 but if you never heard before of course it's very low your score can be up you heard it but you don't know maybe you're 4 and 5 so you can rate yourself and and as i mentioned the inductive contents which i shown you in the unit spec as well what we need supposed to be learned so 3.1 we have explained the difference between chargeable exam so chargeable gain is the gain when the there is a chargeable disposal of the chargeable asset by the chargeable person so chargeable person chargeable gain so which we'll go through in a minute so charge able is a disposal include the part of the disposal or gift of the asset so like inherent tax if you giving property to loved ones so that can be chargeable chargeable asset and we even on the gift as well however the transfer of an asset upon the death is an exempt disposal so which will go to a person who inherited an asset that take it over its value at the time of the death. Individual pay the capital gain tax based on the chargeable gain for the tax year and chargeable gain required three essential elements, chargeable disposal, chargeable person and chargeable asset. So which we can. So I copied a link here for you, a char chargeable disposal sales, gift, exchange or the loss uh, of asset exempt to the charities on the death if you're giving any property to charities on the death is exempt so next now we'll look around rates for the capital gain tax lower rate is the higher rate of the capital gain tax are unchanged in the financial finance act 2019 which is run from 1st april till 31st march up to 2020 and each year tax rate you know all you know you learn the tax before then it's been you know the our financial year is start in the uk's first april till 31st march so 10 percent is the basic unchanged and the 20 percent is a higher rate so the residential property rates are also unchanged at the 18% and 28% is a capital gain tax. This apply on the way the gain arising from the disposal or the residential property is not fully covered by the principal private resident exemption. So we will go through. Chargeable gain are the tax at the lower rate is 10% or 18% where falls within the basic tax. Then 37,500. The higher rate is the 20 and 28 percent where exceed the threshold. The basic rate band is extended to if the person pay the personal pension contribution, make gift and the donation. So which we'll go through in a minute. <clears throat> Anybody any question? Resident is mean you're living in 180 days in the UK. You become a resident by law and the tax you have to pay the tax in the here if you're not a resident you can't claim the benefit or the incentive those are the resident even you're a national but you live abroad your residency will be cancelled like you know the bank benefit even sometimes to buy a mortgage you can't get you know the bank say you know are you resident last 12 months you work in the uk you pay the tax in the uk so capital gain tax professionally responsibility of the tax advisor so tax system national insurance contribution domicile inherit tax and the tax avoidance tax avoidance which we discussed in the lesson one exempt person disposal and the asset can be some chargeable chargeable gain capital losses taxable gain and the tax rate so then when you look around the persons person chargeable person individual companies pay corporation tax on the gain exempt charities are the exempt that's the exemptable person charities individual asset chargeable asset any capital asset which are not exempt is a chargeable what are the exempt asset then 
these are the chargeable and exempt exempt assets are the principal of private residence if you're private resident you're using the property for your own residence there is a no tax on it the cash uh, motor vehicle motor cars certain charities below bravery medal if you get not purchase no tax gambling and lottery winning there is a no tax compensation and damages you receive there is a no tax like injury claim and various others you have so there is a no tax on it shares held in ISCs in uh, investment saving and investment scheme and national saving and investment certificate premier bond gift gillets security government security government in different government projects other corporate bonds you have corporate government bonds you have you know that's here yeah, it's no tax on it chattel is is a tangible movable property that's called chattel was wasting chattel exam expected useful life less than 50 years example car on board dishwashers tv race horse all animal encountered in the assessment are taken as a wasting chattel so no wasting chattel bought and sold for six thousand or less if you're buying and selling lift Six thousand or less is exempt. If it's more than, and they have expected life more than fifty years, antiques, jewelry, thus we have to pay tax on it. Okay, so this is the pro forma look like for the capital gain tax. So chargeable gain for the year, how much we have? Less the tax year capital losses if we have. Net gains we have less annual exempt limit is a twelve thousand. Up to twelve thousand, there is a no tax on the capital gain if your gain is up to twelve thousand, there is a no tax yes if your basic tax fair less the capital loss we bought forward so is no and taxable gain and the capital gain tax we have amount falling within the basic band 10 percent amount falling 20 percent an individual capital gain tax liability fall due to 31st December the following tax year disposal all this we need to which we'll go through in a minute <clears throat> okay anybody any question up to now explain the difference between chargeable and exempt person so chargeable person individual companies corporation tax chargeable all asset unless the specified exempt and chargeable disposal sale gift whole pot asset say loss can be exempt assets which we earlier discussed as well gain no corporation tax and uh, capital gain tax on it losses no relief exempt motor cars uh, chattels bought and sold less than six cash wasting chattels horses dogs and principal private residence share held in IC is qualifying all these are exempt as we discuss in so then this is one of example I included as well for the sake of you know to clear the sum amount has the chargeable gain selling the quoted shares 33,600 for the tax year calculate the capital gain tax liability for the tax year and then we need to state here assume the M has the taxable income is 4370 pounds assume the M has the taxable income is 27.8 other taxable income other than the shares huh? so we need to be look around so capital gain here we have for the year 33 so first we said 12,000 is exempt so that's income no taxable Gain income is 21,800. So there is a corporation tax 10% is capital gain tax 10% up to 37,500. So then we need to look around. That's the tax you have. Okay, now assume M has a taxable income, other income as well. So all the M and chargeable gain fall within unused basic weight band 33 130 
and then of course you know you will look the elements income here we're doing a part first huh? leave the b please so deal with the separately so 4000 70 pound is other taxable income so 37 500 minus 30 4 3 so that's mn taxable income we can find which is 33 1 30 so now mn 10 percent we can calculate on this and remaining we'll calculate on the highest okay any question anyone okay then we can look around in b part so we'll go through m and b is 10 percent first and then remaining income will be 20 percent and 21 600 yes the income will be a different tax in this case now so only use the basic tax plan and in both cases a and b m and pay the corporation tax which is due on the 31st january 2021 until if after this is charged the interest on it which will further explain we'll go through in part c 3.3 uh, 3 as well disposal of assets so when part of the asset is sold need to be determined the cost of the part and the cost of the part of the asset is disposal allow the cost of the whole asset a divided by what is a the proceed what you sold b the market value of the remaining part so a plus b you divide and you can find the value so please we have to look around we have to use the formula so asset damage we need to be calculate as well asset disposed of we need to calculate the value remaining value of the asset so we can claim the loss of the asset okay chattels we as we discussed chattels are tangible movable properties vesting chattel expected less than 50 years exempt but is more than 50 years is taxable so sales proceed six thousand or less more than six thousand we have to charge the tax is exempt and allowable loss is based on the deems gross sales proceeds and the normal competition or the calculation again is restricted to we can look around five over three times gross proceed minus six thousand so how much is the gross proceed we have minus six thousand which is exempt if is a more than times by five divided by three so you have to enhance it the value to calculate the capital gain tax on it by using this formula this is given by hmrc so you have to follow the guidance okay connected person is these are the connected person parent grandparent brother sister and spouse and uh, then we have brother sister and their spouse children grandchildren and their spouse so civil partner and their relative are about are also connected persons any question anyone so please we need to be followed the share we need to be where the shares of the same type of the company have been acquired throughout the more than one purchase rules need to be identified which shares been disposed matching rules so shares of the same type are matched as followed the same day of acquisition acquisition in 30 days after the disposal <clears throat> acquisition in the share pool the shares is used in the standard gain pro forma usual <clears throat> so we need to look around the purchase number of shares what cost <clears throat> sale less yes so we need to be and how much is a pool now carry forward so number of shares sold divided by the number of shares in pool times by the cost to date so bonus issues bonus issues are the distribution of free shares to the existing based on the number of shares so on one hour fourth issued the shares with the 400 shares would receive 100 free shares. So for the capital gain per se, they treat as the bonus shares are not treated as the separate holding of shares. So these are treated as acquired on the same day as 
original shares they will be relieved so therefore the number of bonded share included in the share pool but the nil cost yes yeah, their cost will be nil of course we're not paying any money for it we're getting the bonus so right issue if you have one shares you will get the cheaper shares new one so 10 per shares older 300 would be quite 100 so that's you know we can look around the cheaper shares option and we have to use and we have to calculate you know the, their values and we have to make the treatment accordingly so principal private residence relief owner occupied the residency throughout the period of ownership gain exempt and for less than 100 percent of the period ownership gain from uh, residence relief so which we can calculate any question anyone <clears throat> so we have a formula here exempt proportion of the capital gain period of occupation including the deem occupation and total period of ownership so period of occupation or the period is actually occupation and the deem occupation is mean you're not live you live somewhere else and given before the deduction of the capital loss it deem occupation last 18 months up to three years of any reason any period spend working overseas up to four years while working in the uk must be proceed the following actual occupation so which we can use this formula to calculate it for the capital gain and the last is can be make an adjustment so which will calculate in 3.3 calculate capital gain tax which we will calculate an individual from the capital gain data which we will be go through in a minute anybody any question for the tax 2019 this is example douglas does not have any income on the 15 june 2019 he sold in teaks ways and they resulted in the capital gain tax 18,800. there is the capital gain is gain is 18,800. August 2019, he sold the residential property and this is the result, resulted in the capital gain. So there is a gain now, is a capital gain tax liability is now. So we need to look around the residential property is there. Annual exempt limit is a 12,000, is no tax on it. So after the exempt limit, there is a gain, 27, plus we have a other gain because you will see there are two gains, yes? One is on waste which is 18,800 so you add them all that's the total gain <clears throat> so now because it's falls in if you add them that's a 42 so higher tax bracket now we fall so first gain capital gain 27,500 will be at 18 percent yes so that will be 18 percent the gain on this property gain yes 18 percent on properties so that will be 18 percent then we look around the antiques which we have so 37 minus 27 500 so there is a 10,000 will be charged at the basic rate which is a 10 percent and the remaining will be higher rate, which is 8,020%. So now the total tax liability is 7,710 pound need to pay to HMRC based on this gain. So is the gain 10%? Anybody, any question, please? This is all calculation we can do. It. Okay, asset offset of losses. Although the not charging, chaining the end result, the interaction of the annual exempt amount and the broad forward capital losses has been clarified. So annual amount shows be reduced after the set of the current year and the capital losses, but therefore the setting of any broad forward capital losses previous year up to five years. The standardized term, the chargeable gain, are uh, the chargeable gain refer to the gain before the deducting annual like limit. So any broad or forward capital loss term capital gain or taxable gain refer to the gain after deducting annual amount and bought forward the losses. 
So we'll go through example here. Let's we'll look at the example 20, 19, and 20. NIM had the chargeable gain and the capital loss is 15 in the previous year. So let's we'll go uh, in the NIM's taxable gain for the 2020. We are going to calculate you now 20, 19, and 20. So chargeable gain is 18,000. So and capital losses. This same year, the capital loss is fifteen thousand eight hundred. So chargeable gain is twenty two hundred. So annual exempt because this is fall within twelve thousand. So this will be exempt now. So there is won't be any tax on it. Then chargeable gain eighteen thousand. You can minus twelve thousand if we have a losses previous year. This is different now. Is the same different scenario. So it can be annual exam 12. Then you have a capital losses brought forward 6,000. So there is no gain and there is no tax on it. Yes, after that, losses will be set off. Anybody, any question? Nim, therefore, I have a capital loss. It carry forward 9,800, which we can. 6,000, we used it. Yes, for the losses, we can carry forward into the next year. Okay. Just to understand for the your understanding about the text, I copied the some is article so you can learn about about personal tax and the capital gain. So what you can do, please copy this link and go through a lot of examples and capital gain tax. So please make sure carry on doing practice. I copied the link for you to watch the video. So please make sure you know watch these two videos. Those will help you to further enhance your understanding what is meant by capital gain tax, how we can calculate on the various types of asset. Of course, you know the rates carry on changing each year. You need to be make sure we follow the rates. You know, so if we don't follow the rates, we can't calculate the tax liability rightly and correctly. So we need to make sure. So please do so. And at the end, I copy the link for you to do the quiz. Please make sure to attempt this quiz and you can set up your account on this website as well. And that will also help you to learn in more in detail. If you are interested to learn about the text more in detail, it's always good to be because the text subject is a, is a subject which is the text rate always change. So please, in the next lesson, we'll go through assignment brief. We can discuss in the meanwhile, if you have any question, anyone, Please feel free to drop me email on my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk. In the meanwhile, so please go through and there is a booklet on Moodle. So I'll show you because I copied the. So please go through this book, which is already on Moodle. I'll show you on Moodle. So if you go Moodle under our level four and personal tax you will see there this is a pocket size notes there and the activity so you can look around and go through please so you can type here control f chargeable chargeable gain and you will see the chargeable gains and you go through charge chapter 10 please chapter 11 and chapter 12 so chapter 10, 11, and 12 is all about the capital gain. There are a lot of examples. Please make sure just go through and do some questions so enhance your understanding about. In the meanwhile, if you have any question, drop me email on my email address, anjum at ukversity.co.uk. So also I'll speak to you all during our next lesson. In the meanwhile, if you have any question, drop me email. Thanks for attending. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye-bye.